Now at 10 o'clock, a suspected child predator is busted in the Inland Empire. A man accused of using social media apps to lure underage girls, some as young as 10. Now behind bars. Police say they know of many victims and there could be many more. Tonight, KCAL's Nicole Comstock is live in Fontana with details in this very disturbing case. Nicole? Yeah, Fontana police think this guy was talking to more than one underage girl, but tonight they tell us they're not certain how many more victims there may be. It's a task force devoted to preventing online crimes against children. But by the time Fontana detectives caught up to 32-year-old Rene Gabriel La Madrid, they say he already sent a 10-year-old girl pictures of himself performing sex acts, tried to get her to send him similar photos, and contacted her through Snapchat, attempting to pick her up from school to have sex with her. One of the family members had seen something on the daughter's uh, Snapchat, um, realized that it was adult material. That family member followed their gut and called police right away. Officer Rich Guerrero says La Madrid was using the screen name Jack Sawyer 311 on Snapchat and that the 10 year old victim may only have been the tip of the iceberg. He had actually been attempting to solicit additional victims um, through various applications from kick to likey to Snapchat. As well as scout and whisper. When we asked Guerrero how many more potential victims there may be, he said many. That multiple girls La Madrid was messaging on those apps communicated to him that they were minors. It, it's scary. Detectives are in the process of contacting those girls. They arrested La Madrid at his parents' home in Colton. They say he was also in possession of child porn. So they're investigating the source of those videos and pictures and asking parents to look out for that screen name. His parents just please check Check your children's phones. She's always telling me, like, you gotta be careful. Da, 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 da. Alyssa's heard the warnings about predators so many times. Like most teenagers, the message has lost some of its impact. When she's telling me, I'm like, okay, I know this already. But she says when she hears about alleged crimes like this, it makes her more leery of people who might approach her online. If you think your child may have been in contact with this man, give Fontana police a call. Reporting live from Fontana, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.